afternoon our listener welcome on, welcome on our video today uh, today we are doing a revision this is history and government and this is paper one as we said uh, history and government paper one kcse paper one deals with kenyan history all the questions are on kenyan history which number one you're told uh, to state factors uh, for the growth of Nairobi. What factors made Nairobi to grow, uh, to become a town and city? Number one, uh, cool temperatures. Uh, so that area of Nairobi, it has cool temperatures. But two, plenty of water. Uh, there was water, especially from Nairobi, Nairobi water. Not like today, that river is very dirty. And number three, trading activities uh, there were trading activities that were happening there uh, uh, between Masai, Agikoyo and Akamba and then we end the Indians then colonial headquarters it became colonial headquarters then suitable landscape and uh, this place is not mountainous uh, and therefore it was suitable for building and then the last one, rich, rich interland, mm, rich interland. Uh, then we have construction of Kenya Uganda railway. That one boosted uh, that uh, town and the city to grow to become what is it is today. Question number B. Set features of the uh, the independent constitution features. This question is very common. Features of the independent constitution. How was it? Eh? Number one, it had bicameral legislature. That is to say, two houses. Number two, federalism. That one country divided into seven regions. The former. Uh, eight regions provinces next it had executive that is providing executive powers on governor general acting on behalf of the queen next it had bill of, bill of rights uh, it had details to include f uh, fundamental rights of an individual then uh, it had a judiciary uh, which was supposed to be independent and impartial and these are the features of the the independent constitution of kenya and this is the constitution that pre that uh, was there mm. that was there uh we request you to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed uh we also request you to write us a comment you can write a comment on maybe our videos maybe you want something maybe you want to get revision materials from us we can easily do that through whatsapp next uh, citizenship all indigenous kenyans were entitled to kenyan citizenship as well as european and asia so at the independence we had uh, uh, kenyans uh, european and asians becoming the citizens then we have number 19 reasons for the success of portuguese conquest along the east african coast what made the portuguese to succeed in their conquer eh, in their conquering to east african coast number one this unity among coastal city states so the coastal towns like lam and mombasa were not united we are coming back uh, shortly after this short break. Yeah. Welcome, welcome our listener. We are looking at the reasons for the success of Portuguese conquest along the East African coast. And uh, we hope that you have subscribed to this channel. And also you have liked this video. And also uh, you have 
eh? you have uh, shared this video with your friend uh, you are told uh, why were they able to conquer number two uh, they had superior weapons the people of uh, coastal town they did not have uh, sophisticated weapons like the Portuguese and therefore uh, they were undefeated then they got reinforcement from Goa in India another territory that was there for Portuguese then they had better naval power uh, compared to the coastal town people next lack la lack of resistance from some towns some of the coastal towns did not resist the portuguese next the portuguese made alliance with some local rulers then these local rulers assisted them in fighting in fighting uh, coastal town people last weakness of rival natives that is Turkish and Persia let, let us look at the next question effect of long distance street what were the effect of long distance street number one it led to increased contact among the people of the interior uh, through trade so the people of the the people of the interior part of East Africa uh, started having contact eh, uh, during the process of during the process of uh, exchanging maybe products or maybe selling and buying with the coast of with with the coastal people the coastal people used to come to the interior part of east africa and therefore they could meet people uh, in the interior part of east africa and therefore uh, long distance trade long distance trade uh, made these people to have contact eh? it made people to have contact you can also write for us a comment eh? uh, you can also request for a revision material uh, through whatsapp group we have given you the phone number uh, through the trading activity next introduce introduction of new items e.g clothes and glasses next related to opening of the interior which exposed it to the foreigners next it led to colonization mm. so opening of the interior led the foreigners to know about east africa and therefore it led to colonization then it led to spread of islamic into the interior then it led to introduction of new crops like maize and rice and next it led to define of indigenous industries decline it led to decline of indigenous industries as the foreign goods were introduced uh, we are through with this video we thank you so much for watching up to the end uh, we request you to write for us a comment you can also request for revision materials revision books for eastern government uh, because we have them uh, ready for you and uh, we have simplified everything for you uh we are thank you until next time